Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, also BettingAngle.us. This is a members-only video for premium subscribers who understand. No risk it, no biscuit. Let's look at the IBF Super Middleweight Championship, which is going to drop in a few days. Understanding that the division's wide open. Canelo has given up some belts. Here, the IBF belt is up for grabs. Uh, David Benavides has jumped to 175. Officially, he is the mandatory right now for Arthur Berturbiev. We'll see how that situation plays out. I understand that His Excellency wants a rematch between Berturbiev and Bevel, but again, that's 175. Berturbiev has a lot of options. Understand Benavides right now is scheduled to fight David Morrell, who jumped from 168. So 168 has emptied out. This is actually a championship fight between Vladimir Shiskin, who is the favorite. He's a minus 165 or so. And he's facing Cuban William Skull, right, who's a plus 125. The bet I'm recommending here because both guys, in my opinion, lack lateral movement. The bet I'm recommending is the under 10 and a half rounds at a plus 210. Again, the under 10 and a half at a plus 210. Hedged with Skull, the underdog, simply to win at a plus 125. Right? She skin has an excellent straight right hand. He can lead with power shots. He's what I call an 8-2 to two fighter. In other words, he throws left hooks to the body. They're devastating, right? So he's southwest. He also throws an excellent straight right hand up top, so he's northeast, right? So if you cover up your head, he's trying to go underneath your elbow and take away your rib cage. To me, the likeliest outcome here, and I know uh, Skull does a good job moving around, um, not a lot of lateral movement, but he does a good job being a stylist. He can fight low. He makes it hard to reach his body. But I believe the uh, bigger man here, and she skin is physically bigger, has a shot at a stoppage. If he gets that stoppage, you're taken care of because with a plus 210, you bet a dollar to get that dollar back plus $2.10, which would cover the other side of the hedge and leave you with a profit. If this fight goes the distance, there is a chance that Skull wins by decision because he's more of the stylist type guy in the ring while both of these guys yell when they hit you. Skull really frames his shots because he's a loud yeller, right? The judges might buy into his style of stylistic boxing, right? So I need for folks to understand the risk involved. If the favorite, Shiskin, wins this fight by decision or after the midway point of the 11th round, you lose it all. Again, I like the under 10.5 at a plus 210, hedged with Skull simply to win at a plus 125. You profit if Skull wins, period. For you to profit if Sheeskin wins, you need a stoppage before the midway point of the 11th round. Under understand, Sheeskin has a greater than 60% KO ratio. I feel that Skull isn't defensively blessed. Skull is a stylist with a less than 50% KO ratio. I don't think Skull is going to be able to stop Sheeskin. Right? The under 10.5 is really to give Sheeskin an opportunity. Literally, 10 full rounds and half of the 11th to get the stoppage. 
right? Since he's only facing a guy who only has nine KOs, I'm expecting Shishkin to be on his front foot and to effectively cut off the ring. If Skull draws a line in the sand in the middle of the ring, then I'm expecting Shishkin to make it an absolute shootout. Again, he's fighting a guy with a less than 50% KO ratio who only has nine stoppages. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. The under 10.5 at a plus 210 hedged with the underdog skull simply to win at a plus 125 is how I'm playing it. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Thanks for stopping by.